Three years ago, the Storm Lake Community School District kicked off a three-phase expansion project. Voters approved a $15 million bond for construction of a new early education building. Well, community members are now being asked to approve phase two of that project. That's right. And KCAU 9 News reporter Nick Wilson shares the cost and why administrators say the project needs to stay on track. It's our top story now at 10. Shonda Nelson has a child in the Storm Lake Community School District. She says the school district has plenty of expenses to worry about without the $9.95 million bond measure. Sports fees and, and whatnot, and you know, just have extra teachers having to be hired. And, and I mean, yeah, those are my only big concerns, I guess I would have to say. The early elementary school in Storm Lake has more than 250 kids. The bond measure would add a new wing to that building for first graders. Storm Lake School District COO Jeff Tollefson says the school district is growing and it needs a larger facility to accommodate the students. We still have capacity needs and our classrooms are very full, um, spread out in places that aren't classrooms at our current elementary and middle school buildings. So we face a, a need for space. Amy Jesse is a kindergarten teacher at Storm Lake's early elementary school, and she is also the parent of a kindergartner. She says the expansion to the building will help students learn better. Um, I think it's made uh, teaching very difficult. Um, some teachers have been teaching out in a shared space with no walls, um, and we obviously have uh, traffic going through those hallways and those shared spaces, so it creates an environment that isn't conducive to learning. The bond measure needs approval from at least 60% of voters. The school district will not have to raise taxes if the bond measure passes. In Storm Lake, Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.